Did you just think, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We're looking into that one, yeah. that's what you How did you hear about the industrial placement scheme? I found it on LinkedIn. Um, I looked on LinkedIn for a lot of placement opportunities and I think that's where the Met Office one um, caught my attention. Why did you choose the Met Office? I'd known about the Met Office uh, going to school around here as well, so it was like a big organisation in the area, so I could move home, have home-cooked meals and an easy commute and not have to think about finding accommodation, paying rent and things. I uh, didn't even know who the Met Office were, but the job advert did really interest me. It sounded like I would get to experience lots of different things, which a lot of other opportunities seemed quite specialised. Also just the culture seemed seemed like it, it would be a nice fit for me. What responsibilities were you given? Sometimes I'd have to make a graphic that would have to go out that day on social media because a storm had been named or something. I would say mine's quite different. I would say when I started, I was being taught by my manager a lot of the design tasks and how to use all the software because that was quite new to me. Um, but quite quickly after, I moved into the social space, so thinking about different types of content we could be putting out on social media platforms. What are the best and worst things about your placement? Oh, oh that's a good question. Mo uh, being given the space to move into doing social rather than design. So although I'm glad that they supported me with developing my design skills, I think once I said that that wasn't necessarily what I enjoyed as much as the social media stuff, they were really encouraging to move me into what I wanted to do rather than like what I thought I should be doing. It sounds a bit cheesy but I felt at home um, even though I wasn't even in the building because I did my placement during Covid so okay. I was literally not even in Exeter, I was up in the Midlands working from home and I still felt so supported, felt like the team really wanted the best out of me, I felt like I'd learned from so many different experts which was just amazing. A challenge I suppose I found was that there's so many different things you can get involved in. They throw whatever you want at you, loads of different opportunities, you've kind of got to manage them all and kind of pick where you want to go. How has it compared to what you were expecting? It was a much better year than I was expecting. I did not expect to get to do all the things I got to do and I really didn't expect to get the responsibility I got. Um, I didn't think I'd just be doing teas and coffees, but I, I didn't think I'd be getting to run whole projects. How has this helped your career development? Being given opportunities to um, script and then present and edit videos that could go out on social channels. It's a brilliant place for me to learn and develop and um, grow my skill set, not just in design, social media, the creative, but all the personal skills that go with um, having a job. I remember on my placement, I remember one of my first days, I, I spent about 20 minutes trying to reply to an email. I think that's something I'm still developing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm quite there yet. I've read a few of your emails. Yeah. I? <laughs> I think I owe a lot to the Met Office and it's just also a really cool place to work.